How y'all are? I'm glad for you to see me a guarantee. I'm gonna taste this jambalaya first. Let's just go ahead on and cook. Get the part of the chicken that I like. Turtle stew, come here, boy. Mm. You know how it looks good? This is going to be good, I guarantee. I talk to it like it knows what I'm talking about. I like it, it's good. I believe in easy cooking, believe me, I do. How y'all are? I'm glad for you to see me, I guarantee. I'm gonna fix cheeseburger grits and lost bread. And I think you'll like it. I did, so I've just got an ordinary appetite. That's all, eat anything. <laughs> and I have to start with getting my, my grits ready. Put that on there. Gotta turn that fire on in a minute. I got a cup of grits that I'm not gonna put in there first. I'm gonna put my hamburger meat in there first. And tromp it around with this little fork and spoon I got. Hands are clean, just wash it. I tromp this all around in there like that so I can mix the grits in there with it. When you cook, you got, every time you add something, you got to stir a little. That looks good. I tasted it, so it's good. One cup of grit. Now that is a, a pound of ground beef is what we put in there. Beef chuck is what I have in there. Then I'm gonna put, uh, this is regular grit, not quick grits. I can't cook quick grits. It gets done too quick, I can't stood that. Really. <laughs> That's a cup of quick grit, not quick grit, regular old grit. That, that, that yank up there, somebody asked me, you like, would you like some grits? He said, give me one grit. That's all I want. <laughs> You know nothing about good food like grit. And I mix this real good, best I can, till I put some water and some cheese in that to make a cheese burger of grit. And it works. And I love it. Who do I love it? Anything that's good to eat, it, it can't get by me, I can tell you that. No two ways about it. You're doing good. You're doing all right there, you tell us. Just get that grit off the bottom. Now you're going. But that's gonna be mixed up real good. If you don't mix it good, it just, it takes it longer to cook or something, it just doesn't taste right, you know? Now, let me see what else I got to put in there. I've got uh, five cup of water I got to put in there, and I got some salt, like uh, two and a half teaspoons, I'll get that label. Right now, I'm gonna put five cup of water in it. I'm not gonna put this with this cheese in there yet, no. Put it in there, they got the water. It'll help me, it's five cup of water. It's like you cook regular old grit. Cup of grit, five cups of water. Nothing to it, it's salt. But I like to put different things in my grits. Stir this in there good, get it off the bottom of the pot, and cook it until it's the way I like grits. If I, want to, if I want to deep fry the grits the next morning, not deep fry, fry grits for breakfast, I cook the grits till it's really firm. And that's what I'm gonna do here today, too. Cause I may want to cook this in the morning for my breakfast. Not a bit of thinning, I'll tell you that. Oh man, that's gonna be good. I'm not gonna turn that fire on yet either. Now, I'm gonna put some salt in there. Where the salt, here the salt is. It says one and a half teaspoons of salt. Now I'm gonna measure a teaspoon in my hand <laughs> and then show you that's a teaspoon full of salt. And then I will put uh, the other half a teaspoon in there somewhere. Come here, me. Now that's a teaspoon, they say. And I'm gonna put that salt in there to show you that that's a teaspoon full of salt. There it is, and here's the half. <laughs> but I'm gonna put this a little more. The worst thing in the world is grits that hasn't got enough salt in it. <laughs> now, of course, I, I had to think about the meat. It had to have salt, too. That's why I put that in there, a little extra salt. It always tastes good, anyhow. 
Now, now I've got some Worcester sauce I'm going to put in there, right here. Put in any, any amount I want to. It's not going to be much. I always got to shake Worcester sauce up. Remember that. I'm going to put about, oh, I'd say that's two teaspoonful, and I'd bet money on that. And I got to put some little down of hot sauce in there too, you know. Shook that all. We shook them all up. Stir that in there first. Do what you tell the people to do, though. Don't get smart. There that goes. That's looking good already. It says, but this is all to taste, you see. And that's what we're going to do. This is to my taste. And that's not hot. This is not real hot sauce. It's made with cayenne pepper. And it's not real hot. I guarantee you that. And I love it. Now I'm going to stir that in there. And I'm going to start my fire to go in underneath this. If I can get the right plug, and I think I can. Wrong one. I didn't think I did that right. <laughs> I'm going to put this on medium. And I'm going to put the cheese in there and stir it in real good. And I'm going to check and see if I left out anything. Oh man, that's gonna be good. Now this is a cup and a half of, uh, oh, to be a cup and a half. That's what it says, cup and a half. Stir it in there real good, Justin. Yes, sir, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna move my hot pads, I'm gonna have to go get them. Mm-hmm. Oh, hey, that's looking good already, I guarantee. Now I got to let this cook a while without any lid on it, anything like that. Mm, 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 mm. I think I'll start eating it right now. There you go, this is a tasting spoon. Now, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna make lard bread, but before I do that, I got to put a fire under this water that was in the, the bottom part of a double boiler. And you got, to, you got to have a double boiler to cook grits right, I think, unless it's quick grits. And I don't know how to cook quick grits. I'll keep telling you that, and it's true. Put that on medium and let that come to a boil. And let me, let me find my, there they are. I'm gonna need these shortly. But when I move that thing there, it's hot. Let me put this out of the way. But I have to take that lid over there to put that on. That's what I'm going to do. And I want to be sure I got everything in there. Y'all don't mind if I pick this up and read. I'm going to do it anyhow. I might just well not mind. Pound of ground beef, a cup of regular grit, five cup of water, two and a half teaspoons full of salt, exactly. A little down of hot sauce to taste, Worcestershire sauce to taste, one and a half cup of grated cheese, garlic powder to taste. Oh, I nearly left my garlic. Out and that's not good, no. The taste, it says. The taste. That's enough to taste. Stir it in there good. And hold this thing where it won't be running around the stove on you. Mm -hmm. Now, if something about it don't like this, I'm going to suspect them of something, you know? <laughs> And I got to tell you all the story. It's a true story. And I'm not going to use the man's name because he'd get mad at me if I did, if I told on him for what he did in the Astrodome in Houston, Texas. I never will have forgotten. I was in Houston, Texas. And I took this friend with me because he'd been a good friend down in South Louisiana for years. And we went up there to see a baseball game. We watched the baseball game. And then we went to a restaurant there in the Astrodome to eat. We ate, and it was nice, had a nice, pretty little girl waited on us, waitress, you know, female girl, lady, women, waited on us down. And we ate up a storm, and man, I just got through it. And, and I, I took, asked the, the lady to give me the check, and she did, and I left my friend still eating there. He was just a P.I.G. hog, he wanted more than I did. <laughs> and he was just eating up a storm there, and I left. And I, when I left, I said, wait a minute, hey, 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 leave something on the table for that little waitress here. Okay, you stay on it, okay. So we went and we watched the bail ball game and in the middle of the game I said, look, by the way, did you leave something on the table for that little waitress? Huh? He said, oh yeah, I left them damn old carrots. I never did it like those. <laughs> 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 
Now, I've got to make, I'm going to have to cook lost bread, papadour, or oh, some people call it French toast. Ain't nothing French about it to me. It's just Cajun as can be, but nothing, nothing French. And it tastes good. And it tastes good. That's the mainest thing. I got to whoop those eggs to where they will shut up or something. And I got another recipe here. I want to be sure I don't left anything out of this. And I'm going to put it all in there when I'm whooping on those eggs. Put that right in there. Come here, eggs, and talk to me. I got five eggs because they weren't big. It says four large eggs, but these were not big enough, so I put five. And we'll whoop them up a little bit right now. If I can just get the motion right, I'm gonna do it right. Da -da 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 -da. Yep. Come on, Eddie, just beat up there. Now he's going. And into this, after I get this beat a little bit more, got to whip a little bit more than this. Then stir it. Then stir it good. Now, into this, I'm gonna put one half a cup of dry white wine. Wine that you can drink if you would like to. Don't ever cook with wine that you wouldn't drink. I ain't about to do it. Now I've got to beat these some more. This is what I'm gonna dip that bread in and just fry the daylights out of it. Oh, well, let me, let me see something. While I'm thinking about it, I better put this in my in my frying skillet, where I'm gonna fry it in my lost bread. <laughs> that made a sound in it when it hit there. You know, my dish towel. Now, nah, I got it. We'll whip these eggs some more. They need whipping a lot. Get that wine in there good. I got to put a little salt in here, not much. Just a little salt. Wait a second. Here you go, baby, come here. And I'm talking about a little to come out of there. Don't mess around. Just a little salt. That's too little. That's enough. <laughs> it's, you want that for the eggs, not for anything else. That's how you don't have to put much. And I got 12 slices of bread over there. Now I'm going to reach and get there, and we're going to start frying as soon as I get the fire going under that skillet. I want to got to stir them grit too every now and then. I don't want to forget that. <coughs> yes, sir. Come here to me. That grit's coming fine. Look at that. That tastes good right now, I guarantee. And remember, I put that meat in there raw because this, this is going to cook a long time. A real long time. Mm hmm. Don't burn that thing, boy. It wouldn't be nice, no. Got that stirred. Let's whoop this a little bit more. Don't got to put any hot stuff in there. No, no hot stuff. No wooches or sauce. And let me turn my fire on here so we can get this going. And turn that fire down back down. Yeah, I'll turn that down to, to low. Turn this fire up. Period, you turn it on. That's high, that's too high. Medium low, where we're gonna put that and melt that. And we'll stir the grit some more. It don't hurt to stir it. You don't want, you want to cook it to where it's not watery. And you take it out of that pot to eat it, and it's hot. I don't think anything can get any hotter than hot grits, I'm gonna tell you the truth. <laughs> Boy, now, if I can get this past my bottles, I'm going to take it like this. I don't want to spill it on the floor, no. Now, this is stale bread. That's why they call it lost bread. Bread is lost. It lost of everything except to make pan perdue, lost bread, when you fry it. It's, it tastes so good, too. So I'm going to put this, I'm gonna put this right here because I still got to stir it in grit every now and then. And I can reach and get that over there. Hmm, hmm. Go ahead on that grit. All you grit. 
I got everything supposed to be in there, I want you to know. You want to dip each slice of bread in the liquid, it says. So people don't know what to do, you know? <laughs> That's gonna be it been beat enough, I think. Now stay there. And what I'm gonna do is run this around a little bit to be sure we got enough butter in there. And if I got to put more, I got some more right over there. Ain't gonna worry about that none. That's doing good. Medium hot, stir the grit. Mm -hmm. Cheeseburger grit. I bet you never heard. I got to turn that fire down because that's splashing on me. Put it on simmer, come down there. Now we got it the way I want it. Mm -hmm. No, I haven't. Now I have. <laughs> now I got it the way I want it. And what I'm going to do. It makes some lost bread right quick like him. Got to do it. That's on medium high, and that's as high as I'm gonna put it. On medium low, I'll put it on. Yep. Put it on medium. Now we got it just right. We done hauled off and melted practically all that butter. It's oleo really. And what I'm gonna do. I got to get this over here where I can get at it. Put it right here in the middle, in the way of everything else. And I'm gonna dip this in there like that. Turn it over like that. And put it in here and just fry the daylight out of it. Mm-hmm. I can put at least four, four of them in there, I think. I'm gonna do it. Now you got it. Come here, boy. You do nothing but frying bread. Put that in there like that. Mm -hmm. Wipe my hand on my dish towel. Get my spatula. And turn that rascal over in just a minute. Oh, boy. That chair keeps trying to trip me and I ain't gonna let it do it. Let's turn this over real fast like, just like this. Come on, boy. Let's cook a little more than that. I like for it to be more brown than that. More than brown yourself, go on. Now you're going. Mm-hmm. Creates a vacuum. That's how come it's hard to turn itself over like that, you know? Mm, mm. You know what? You make me mad and I won't mess with you no more. I hate a high wall skillet when I need a low wall, you know? That's doing real good there. That whole slice gonna get cooked real good. Let me stir this while I'm thinking about it. Yeah. I'm gonna put that in that double boil very soon. And cook, cook for an hour in that double boil. After I get down just the least bit more, now I'm going to town. Oh, y'all look good. Can't produce lost bread, just plain old fried stale bread. That's all y'all, I know that for sure. Let's turn over one more once. Oh, man, that's looking good, yeah. Mm-hmm. Got those two over pretty damn good. That's, that's, they got the, the idea that I was mad at them, and I was. It's just going just right. Come on, Pamper Duke. Quit acting like a Cajun. Now you're going, now you're going, boy. I love this kind of bread, I really do. Like everything, I like most anything to eat. Alligator. I don't like rattlesnake too much, though. I get to thinking about that rattlesnake. <laughs> I'm gonna take this out of here in just a second. I'm gonna eat that one right there. Oh, boy. 
Get out, Mom. Get out, Mom. Now you're going. Let's turn this fire down in a minute. First of all, I'm gonna get this way. I can get it to eat. Then he's lying about what I'm gonna do. There it is, right there. I'm gonna put it on my plate. Right there. Mm-hmm. And I'm gonna turn these. And then turn the fire down. Come on now. Now you're going, boy. You're getting better with this spatula, you know that? <laughs> oh boy. You just, want, you just still want to stay on that note. I'm not going to let you. Oh, that's going to be good. That is good. Tap or do, 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 do. Tap or do, 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 do. I'm going to put some powdered sugar on this. And right now, I'm going to turn that fire off because. I got to put that, I got to move that, uh, that grit. Let that turn off. Take this lead off of here. Oh, you kid, you think, y'all thought I was gonna leave it on there, didn't you? <laughs> Fooled you. Put this on there and let it cook for one hour. You know how I remember to use that thing? You burn yourself one time, you'll remember, I guarantee. <laughs> I'm gonna go myself over and sit down and just see how this tastes. And right here is me some grit. Let me sprinkle just at least a little bit of powder. Powdered sugar, powdered sugar on there. That's enough. That's me. I'm gonna cook some more of that after I check it out. I always like to check out what I'm cooking. Mm. You know that looks good? Now if I just put a little on mine, everything will be all right, I'm sure. Got it. I like this. I like this. I might just well put a little more on mine. <laughs> okay. Let me sit down here and give this to once around and over. Let's sit on that chair now. Oh, oh, oh boy. I got to taste this grits. Had them put me some there that I fixed a little to be sure I had some done, you know? Mmm, mmm. Mmm, mmm. Mmm, mmm. I mean, that is good, I guarantee. Let me see, put this napkin on me like a nice little gentleman. Tuck it in so I won't lose it. And don't forget the wine, Justin. Not about to. <laughs> Pour a little, now I, I have white wine up here and red wine. I like red wine, that's why I drink it. And I drink a little every night. One nice, a cup bigger than that, no use in lying. <laughs> And, and I like it. And my doctor told me that's the thing to do to keep you healthy. And I said, that's one thing I want to keep. And I'm going to. I'd sip that wine to see if it's any good. Yep. You all? Mm -hmm. Ah. Let me taste this right here. Mm hmm. Now I'm going to cut my lost bread like I would a steak. Steak knife and all. Ah. Oh boy. Mmm. 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 Mm -hmm. mm, that's good, yeah. I'm going to eat the whole damn thing. <laughs> no use lying about it. Oh boy. Mm-hmm. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. A little wine make me swallow more easy. Mm, mm, mm. Just a little more of this, this burger. 
cheeseburger grit, more than one grit. That's good stuff, believe me. And I'm not even hungry. <laughs> I'm not even hungry, I guarantee. <laughs> Let's get this going. Shaft. For more information and a complete line of fine Justin Wilson products, visit www.justinwilson.com or you may call 228-207-5379. Mes Shaft, that's the Justin Wilson fine products. Justinwilson.com That is good.